So, uh, hi, I'm back. I'm retrying the same thing that I did earlier. Um, gonna be honest, I'm just, oh shit, I'm gonna say good luck to myself, because I know this probably ain't gonna end well. After last time, that was great! Yay! Fun! Ah, uh, fuck my life, man. Be nice if it's loaded. My personal preference, I think, my favorite thing about Armor 3 is the diversity and how unique the actual game is as a company and as the ownership goes. It is fucking unique. It is so, the supply drop, the best. this was when exactly? Right around the time we saw the ceasefire starting to break down. Must be more than a year ago now. So, at that time, your camp was in the center of town? Yeah, things were getting pretty desperate, though. I remember we hadn't been resupplied in months. No food, water, medicine. We were used to issues with logistics, but I don't know, in the end it got so bad U.S. forces prepared an airdrop. Not an easy task, considering, but those crates, they really were life and death. That's why we needed somebody on the ground. Someone to make sure they came down okay. And who was that? A guy named Adams. Part of the NATO peacekeeping force. Close friend of mine, actually. Adams? He went out alone? From the way he told it, he may as well have. No, he went along with some new recruits, local bunch. It was his job to show them the ropes. Yeah, there was. A couple of weeks previously, guerrillas had ambushed a convoy. Okay, it was some so dissident group that. out to sabotage the peace talks in Karbala. Anyway, NATO intervened and the whole thing just blew up. A checkpoint was hit. Protesters were fired upon at the MOD. Yes, I, I, we were there. AAM. Then you know how bad it got. Our movements were limited by the government. Exactly. And convincing anybody to reassign troops, to escort NGOs, just a total non-starter. East of the town, there was a potential drop zone on the outskirts of guerrilla territory. Southwest, because it then still keeps pulling itself. Once he called in the airdrop, that was it. They just had to sit tight, hope for the best. One ah, thing I don't understand: ah, what were they doing there, all the way up in the mountains? The town, Oreo Castro. This place has historic ties with the guerrillas. For years, people here would provide them with food, water. I see. The government responded by draining the swamp. And that involved sending soldiers. Yeah, coin ops. Adams and his guys were there to remind him of their R2P. Just a sec, I'm getting a bit lost in the lingo here. The fuck was... Hmm? Oh, gotcha. Uh, oh, R2P oh. is their responsibility to protect. Counterinsurgency can get real messy real quick. He was in charge of training. Laws of armed conflict, that kind of thing. Now, I want to point out, um, you can actually go anywhere in this map, which is amazing, like, well, most of the map. Adams normally it's tossed out an orange smoke grenade, which marked his position for the pilot. Yeah, fuck's sake. Could you come back, like, another time, pilot? Um, right, you can't hear him, but it's... Okay. 
Alright, let's hope we don't have the same issue as before. Look at him. Look at that. Don't hear the engine, do you? There we go, yeah, you can hear it. Look at those fine people in there, helping us. Look at it. So, these crates, were there a little thing, or...? No, just four. One contained medicine, another fresh drinking water, the rest were packed with rice and grain. Adam said to inspect each one individually. Later, we'd arrange collection. Thankfully, the rice seemed okay. Thankfully. Alright, well, at least that's kind of where it is. So it's when you get near it. Okay. Well, let's help them. I mean, nice to know. It wasn't uncommon for the sacks of grain to split on impact, but that time, we got lucky. He didn't lose a single one. Look, yeah. Actually, that's exactly what I wanted all near the road. Oh, that was that? oh my god, I'm so stupid. <laughs> medical supplies made it as well. Yes! Go, go Cambo. The medical items, you can imagine how pleased we were to see those arrive. So they landed safely? Yeah. Yeah, they were fine. Yeah, yeah, they were fine. Jesus. That's right. Yeah. You better not have gone into the fucking trees game. Actually, yeah, we're going to. We've gone near the trees. If it was continue sliding. Probably could just be next to me. Bang. As I recall, the bottles of purified water were fine. We've been waiting on those for weeks. As for the crates, they still needed to be checked before anyone else arrived. Okay, we checked it down one. Pass. Defend. Yeah, this one. No, the thing with airdrops, they're not exactly subtle. Smoke, noise of the plane, those bright green parachutes, they're gonna get you noticed. And when you're in the middle of the land country, that's the problem. Report in. Shit. Over. Fuck. Man down. Fuck. Man down. Uh, what can we have? All right. Another guy? Damn it. 
defend against the gorillas. Oh shit, they're going after all the drops. They can't. Alright, well all the wheels are good on this. Alright, the wheels are good. Alright, get your ass out, man. Passenger. Alright, right, well, most of the mags are still fucking full of me, it's good. Oh, man. I almost fucking died. Crazy that shit. See, that still seems fine. Over here. It's gonna be a problem, ain't it? Seventy-five meters left. All right, in the tree line or down. There you are, mate. All right. No. Nope. <laughs> seventy-five meters front. Seventy-five meters. Oh fuck! He's coming over the hill. Bastard! Mate, you're doing this fucking oif. Stressful. Actually, it was one hell of a supply drop. Sorry. Hard man. Didn't know it was a hell of a supply, supply drop. Okay. This, this is stressful. I almost did something on my Xbox in my back. Oh no! Thankfully, the ride seemed okay. No shit, there's a parachute. Don't get me wrong, I don't, I don't. I hate this game, I actually quite like it, it's just some shit like this can really be a repetitive and a bit of It wasn't uncommon for the sacks of grain to split on impact, but that time, we got lucky. He didn't lose a single one. So that practically was the same, roughly area. The medical items, you can imagine how pleased we were to see those around. Have so they landed safely? Yeah. Yeah, they were fine. So they landed safely? Yeah, yeah they're fine. Bleh. We might have a thing for that girl? I have no clue, but... If As do, I recall, the bottles Jewish. of purified water were fine, and we've been waiting on those for weeks. As for the crates, they still needed to be checked before anyone else arrived.
Yeah, the thing with airdrops, they're not exactly subtle. Smoke, noise of the plane, those brightening parachutes, they're gonna be the And when you're in the middle of the engine, that's a problem. Gorillas attacked. Yeah, from what I heard, it was pretty intense. I don't have the numbers, but maybe six or seven were killed. And what happened when the supplies had been secured? Adams would fire a flare. Back at the camp, of course, we'd heard all the gunfire, but that flare, when we spotted it, I don't know, felt like finding a moment of hope or something. Sure. I can only imagine. And thanks for sharing. It puts a, I don't know, a human perspective on my work. Speaking of which, your friend, do you think he'd be willing to contribute further? Even, you know, off the record. What with the topic of my article, having an expert, an instructor on the laws of war... It... Look... I'm sorry. I, I know he'd help out however he could, but listen, he died on Stratus a year and a bit later. Landmine. All right, well, that's where I'm going to continue it off later, guys, because that's probably a little bit more of a touching subject on how it is and all was. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. And Game Spectres, and um, yeah, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>